Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. When we think of ancient Egypt, we often think of the most iconic aspects of their culture, such as the pyramids. But many don't know that Egypt has a far more ancient history, which is sadly unprotected by authorities. In Western Egypt, there are a series of ancient cave paintings that are thought to date back to 12,000 years ago and clearly show glimpses of the origins of dynastic Egyptian history. Not many people know that these cave paintings even exist, but the rock face is covered with pre-dynastic imagery. But because the site is not protected by authorities, it has been scrawled over with modern graffiti. And if this is allowed to continue, soon the most ancient of ancient Egyptian history will be lost forever. And why are they so important? Well, the rock paintings show the earliest depictions of pharaonic dress. There are dogs or jackals, which could be linked to the origins of the Sphinx, which many believe was originally a representation of Anubis, the jackal god. And finally, there is an amazing depiction of the Hathorian cow, an image that became so iconic in later Egyptian religion and culture. The art was created at a time when rainfall in Egypt was limited and only fell periodically, which meant the conditions in Western Egypt were only sufficient enough to support small animals and cattle, as well as the roaming tribes. Pre-dynastic belief systems often centred on cattle cults, linked to the river Nile. The cow was seen as the mother of the sun, and they were thought to be earthly representations of the gods, due to their huge importance to civilization, This ideology would endure, and the cattle cults would lead to the creation of a central figure known as the goddess Hathor, the primeval goddess from whom all others were derived. Cattle and pastoralism were widespread in the Sahara for several thousand years before dynastic Egypt. There is further evidence of this at a place called Gilf Kabir, which means Large Plateau, another pre-dynastic Egyptian ceremonial centre. In the Cave of the Swimmers, made famous in the movie The English Patient, there are yet more examples of cattle in rock art, hundreds of kilometres away from the first location. Were the so-called nomadic tribes that were spread throughout Egypt all connected? And did they share a belief system that would influence the later dynastic culture? The evidence certainly suggests so. Away from the very ancient rock paintings, we next travel to Nabta Player. Discovered in 1974, this little known pre-dynastic site has, on appearance, more in common with the stone circles of Britain than the grand ancient Egyptian stone architecture. Like the British stone structures, the stones of Nabta Player are certainly not primitive monuments and show us that the pre-dynastic Egyptians had a wealth of knowledge, including advanced astronomy. Nabta Playa is a ceremonial site with stone formations arranged to observe the sky. Stones have been found to mark the solstices and constellations such as Orion and the Big Dipper, but the real enigma lies below the ground. The largest central stone monument has been excavated and below the surface, under 10 feet of sediments, they found a megalithic sculpture, known as the cow stone. It may have a vague look of a cow, but most believe it has astronomical significance. Interestingly, beneath the cow, under yet more sediment, they found another sculpture, this time carved out of the bedrock. Astrophysicist Dr Thomas G Brophy has researched the site in great detail and believes that the bedrock sculpture is a scale model of the Milky Way galaxy. The model correctly indicates the position, scale and orientation of our Sun. The placements of the spiral arms, the galactic centre and even the associated Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy that was only discovered in 1994. Furthermore, Brophy noticed that one of the stones in the stone circle above points to the galactic centre in the year 17700 BC, which matched the date that corresponds to the orientation 
of the galactic centre on the bedrock carving. Brophy believes that the stone sculpture is a map of the Milky Way from the standpoint of the northern galactic pole. And with the amount of sediment that's accumulated on top of the stone carving, this date of 17700 BC is certainly possible for its creation. Whether or not this interpretation is correct is open to debate, but the story of Nabta Player certainly began in extreme antiquity. First, the bedrock sculpture was carved and sediment filled it in over several thousand years. Then, the cow stone was carved and placed on top, and then sediment filled it in again. So, that's three subsurface layers of sediment, all beneath the main central stone circle, which was the final phase of work. The stones of the main calendar circle have been computer modelled, and match constellations at two specific points in history, in 4800 BC and 6270 BC. These two dates also match the radiocarbon dates of campfires around the circle. Nabda Player is thought to be a ritual site, not a settlement, a sacred place where people would come at certain times of the year for ceremony and possibly animal sacrifice, as we find evidence of interred cattle in the area. The standing stones and the subsurface sediments of Nabda Player are on the whole undisturbed and relatively unobserved. What we have at Nabda Player are thousands of years of Egyptian history just waiting to be discovered and they are estimated to be even older than Gebekli Tepe in Turkey. It is assumed by historians, including myself, that dynastic Egyptian culture was hugely influenced by Mesopotamia, but the story is far more complex, as shown by the indigenous pre-dynastic culture of Western Egypt. Nabda Player hasn't been lived in since 3800 BC, and its people are believed to have migrated towards the Nile as conditions in Western Egypt became hyper-arid. After 3800 BC, ancient Egyptian population centres were located close to the Nile and were a mixture of people from differing cultural backgrounds, but Nabda Player could well be the original source of the dynastic civilization. There was without doubt a Mesopotamian influence in ancient Egyptian culture, which in places was certainly dominant. But thanks to the rock art of Western Egypt and the enigmatic standing stones of Nabda Player, the origins of dynastic Egyptian history can be traced back through the land for many thousands of years. Thank you for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, please leave a comment and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.